welcome back guys all right if you haven't hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button this lens is dirty um today we're gonna do a little cook on the lang and uh came here to fire this thing up we had a monsoon rain and um have a little drain problem uh if you haven't hit the subscribe button please go ahead and, and do that hit the like button if you can and i'll show you what we're working with i went to fire this thing up um before i show you inside i went to fire this thing up i just threw a bunch of lump in to get my fire going i'm gonna throw some logs in um uh, it's getting kind of smoky now you can't see well i tilted it up i tilted the front of the lang up and uh just to kind of i was told to tilt it up and then level it back out maybe a half a bubble down uh once it gets going just to get the uh the draft started well i went to go fire this thing up and i raised it up and i started getting water pouring down in here so i was like oh no i got water sitting in this thing so pulled a grate over the drain and you can see it is full of grease and oil or grease and water sorry i'm a car guy i'm used to saying oil uh just cooking grease you know drippings and and water from this this massive rain we had i'm working on getting a structure eventually we'll have something over this and um but right now we just don't we're gonna do a lean to off the shop um so what i'm doing um uh, i'm gonna heat this up i'm gonna heat the drain pipe up because it's open it's just clogged and i don't know if it's frozen because we've had some some freezing temperatures it may be frozen it may just be coagulated from uh just the cold grease and stuff in there so i'm gonna get the old map gas torch out and just start heating this thing up My idea is to get this thing nice and warmed up and maybe melt some of this grease out of it. Uh, I may have to take a rod or something to stick through there, or a cleaning brush or something. Um, if it's frozen, this ought to thaw it out and get us, uh, get us drained out and I can fire this thing up good. I wanted to start early today, which is, it's not really early, it's 11, but I wanted to start um, get a jump on our dinner and uh, we're just doing some chicken and some ribs so usually when it takes a three or four hours but you run into problems like this and you know it sets you back another hour <laughs> hour and a half it just depends on how long it takes you to get things cleaned up and prepped you can see it's starting to drip I wasn't even going to make a video on cooking today because I'm doing a coilover suspension on a Mercedes SL500 today. I'm trying to get caught up. Uh, I got behind. And I'm trying to get caught up today, but, um, you know, little things like this, I just wanted to, to show because it, um, it can help you in the long run if you don't think about stuff like that. Some people may not have, you know, not realize they need to do that warm it up to help free it up i'm gonna set this camera down and i'll show you when it starts to free flow um i'm also you know i've got a coal started in there so that's gonna start warming up the plate uh which will start hopefully warming this up from the top side but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get this thing warmed up and, and probably rinsed out um steam it out a little bit and then uh um uh, get it you know ready to cook on again <clears throat> all right well I'll, I'll click this thing back on when we get uh get flowing here 
Okay, so just heating it, it wasn't working. As you can see, it's steaming now. I left a map torch on that, map gas torch on there for a while. It got that pipe good and hot, but it's still not draining. So I got a got an antenna uh, from an old CV I had on a truck. And I'm gonna, I'm starting to try to jam it through there. And that noise you're hearing is steam coming off of, uh, off that pipe as it's what I've, there we go. She's out the bottom now. So I don't think I had a frozen pipe. I think I just have a clogged up pipe. Barely get that antenna through there. So we're gonna work on that. Let's let that drain. Let that drain. I may have to keep unclogging that. I'm going to get a good fire going in this thing and um, get everything uh, loosened up a little bit. And then we'll try to get it straight, scraped out, cleaned. So this is the lesson on the laying on. This is my first lesson on the laying on uh, a clogged drain. <laughs> Which when I, if you'll go back to my other videos where I originally cleaned this thing out. Um, I scraped it out real good and I sprayed it out with a water hose uh, You know while it was hot I steamed it out, but I, I never really did address the, the drain much um, It may have been clogged the whole time it may have just you know I had such a hot fire going in here steaming it I mean I just steamed everything out. I've only done uh, three little cooks the first cook I did uh, chicken thighs ribs and a Boston butt so it wasn't a whole lot of food um, and then I did a turkey on Thanksgiving. Man, that was awesome. It, it, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a video of it, of how I did it. Um, this is the best turkey I've ever had. Um, beats a, a deep fried turkey, hands down. Um, be waiting for that one to pop if you, uh, pop and drop. That video will be coming soon. I'm going to do another one because, um, it was good. And I, I probably be, uh, eating turkey a lot more than I used to it was just uh, it was that good so as you see that's draining down I put me a put me a bucket under here to catch it um, I didn't want it going straight on the ground my dog will be in here eating it drinking it and getting it all over her coat but that's a pretty decent sized drain pipe and it's not draining very good so it's probably got years of uh, probably got years of junk clogged in it fat and grease and stuff so I'll let that drip out for a while where I can see the top, the top side of it and I'll scrape this out and um, maybe work on it with a torch a little bit while this fire is getting hot and heating this chamber up all right stay tuned okay so we got got the drain or got the the water from the rain drained out of it you see it's kind of nasty uh, and I got a, a good fire rolling in it now. Got some wood, hardwood jacked in in there and, and on top of the coals. So we're going to get that good and hot because this plate warmed up. I'm going to scrape, scrape this stuff out of here. Um, my plan, my plan for this thing is, um, I've got a really good pressure washer and I've got a sandblaster too. Um, the sand blaster, my air dryer system doesn't work real good on, on my shop air. I got to get a good dryer. It keeps getting the sand wet when you try to use a, the, um, pressure or the, uh, sand blaster with it. Uh, I may, I need to get a dryer, a better dryer anyway on my air system, but so I may, may weigh my pros and cons on, um, just, uh, getting an adapter for my pressure washer to do sand. Uh, watched a couple videos on YouTube on that. Um, you just basically hook a nozzle to the end of the pressure washer wand and um, hose goes into a bucket of sand and or media, what kind of blasting media or whatever you want to do. And uh, I'm going to blast this thing, take the wheels off of it, get it uh, jacked up on, you know, jack stands and get the wheels off of it and, and blast this whole thing off. 
and um, get the get the you know knock that rust off, get the uh, get a good coat of paint on there, and uh, see what happens. I've been looking at different versions of paint. I, you know, I said in a previous video that I was going to get uh, the same paint Mr. Lang used, but there's some better paints out there that uh, withstand heat better. Um, so I may go with a, with a ceramic type paint that uh, may last longer and, and take the heat better and hopefully um, stay on the firebox longer. So that's the plan. But right now we gotta get that nasty crap out of there. So that's what we're gonna focus on now is getting this drain good and cleaned out. All right, so what better than a Moroso wheel stud box? You can see this plate's warming up. Wow, well, this is uh, good pliable. A lot of this is probably from my turkey. the best system in the world but <laughs> it's what all I got right now so that's what I'm gonna use. great is really getting warmed up here she is still clogged up she's still clogged up but she's getting hot we're gonna try to work with us as fast as we can Knew this old CV antenna was going to be useful one day. <laughs> Nobody talks on CVs anymore. <laughs> Got cell phones. I had one in my old truck for fun. sizzling she's getting boily what we're gonna do that 
that drain opened up nice. Um, I'm gonna rinse this thing out real quick. Slide these grates. You can see the sludge that I got out of there. Uh, you can see the, the bubble in it. We're gonna drop the lid on this thing real quick. And then we're gonna steam it out. Let's check the fire. See rolling. Throw some more wood on it in a minute. Alright, I'm gonna dispose of this uh my sludge box and my Moroso wheel stud box. <laughs> um don't want to put that back on the shelf and find that later, it'd be gross. So we'll, we'll chunk that and then I'll steam this thing out and we'll let it let it uh chill out for about an hour or so and then i'll put some food in it for the day but i'm not gonna film that this video is just to kind of show you um little quirkinesses of the the lang's drain system there is a that v which is just a piece of angle iron i believe welded in the bottom of that with two plates welded down it gives you a channel and it channels down into the middle and drains into that drain but it's um you know it's so it's, this thing's pretty old. It's been used quite a bit, so it's got got clogged up, and uh, we're getting it fixed up. But you can see the, the nastiness that came out. It's pretty funky. Thank God I've got a way to get rid of grease. I've got a big 275 tote. Say hello, Caleb. Back there. We put all our waste oil in, working on cars and vegetable oil if we need it. And with my new wood burning stove, well, it's not new, but it's new to me, wood burning stove that I've got going in soon. And there'll be a video on that to heat this shop. Um, I may do a drip system in there um, for a waste oil heater conversion on that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe maybe coming, maybe wait, maybe next winter or over the summer or something when I do it. We'll just see when I get time, get caught up. I've got so many little projects I've got to do. Um, uh, that's the least of my worries right now. We've got a long way to go before that, that tote gets full. Um, and if it gets full, I'll just have it drained out, have a tanker truck back down, run a hose to it, and suck it out. That's how we did it at my commercial shop. So not a big deal. You can hear that sizzling. She's hot. Alright. Alright. So she's up to about 300 on the top, 250 on the bottom gauge. I'm going to go ahead and blast it out because I'm just, just trying to rinse a little bit out. We don't have a whole whole lot. And i got to cook on this thing, so we don't want to flood it out too much. And i got this thing cranked all the way down the front. Um, it's kind of, this is kind of a slope, so it's not too dramatic of a slope down, but it's enough to get the water draining that way not back into my firebox. The plane going over. Good timing, right? All right, we'll let that steam and get smoky, and I'm going to get it back up the temp. I'm about to stoke this fire back up, um, which, you know, it's not out, but I'm going to get it going really hot and uh, do it one more time. And you can see it's draining out. It's not the best, uh, not the best yet. We're going to have to work on that drain some more. I think it should flow a little better than that, but it is what it is for now. So, all right, this is going to be it for this video appreciate you watching if you have any problems with your uh your drain just you know try to heat it up it gets that grease loosened up a little bit you stick something through there get a fire going get that plate uh heated up as well you can take a little torch and and heat the the bottom up you know just don't melt your valving down there
Um, I don't I don't know if that's all steel. It should be. Uh, but anyway, I would just stay away from the valve where you shut it on and off, heat the top of the tube up and not the very bottom of it. And um, I might even get some, uh, I've got some engine block cleaners that just have some bristles on them. Might stuff that through there and get it real good and hot and try that out. <clears throat> anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. Please uh, hit the like button. Share it if you like. Come back. See us next time. Thanks.